Dairy, a creamy delight or a sneaky troublemaker? Let's dive into this dairy dilemma. Ever felt bloated after a latte or a cheese pizza? You might think it's lactose intolerance, but wait, it could also be dairy sensitivity. They're not the same, you know? Lactose intolerance has to do with difficulty breaking down the lactose sugar in milk. It can give you bloating and diarrhea, but a dairy sensitivity can make you constipated, bloated, and leave you retaining water weight. Now let's talk quality. Ever heard of A1 and A2 milk? A2 is like the gentle cousin, often easier on the stomach than its A1 counterpart. Yep, not all milk is created equal. If you have a sensitivity to A1 milk, you could still be okay with A2 milk. Remember, moderation is key. A splash of milk here and there could just be fine, unless you have a dairy sensitivity. It's all about balance and listening to your body but make sure it's grass-fed and organic if you do have dairy. Now, going dairy-free does not mean you have to feel dairy-deprived. There's a whole world of plant-based alternatives. Almond, cashew, macadamia, and oat. Oh my! These alternatives are delicious and they are often gentler on your gut. But watch out for emulsifiers like Gore and Dellum gum. They can make you gassy. Buy brands that use the least amount of ingredients and fillers. So is dairy a friend or foe? It's a personal tale. Listen to your body and choose what makes you feel best. If you're not sure, take my free quiz to find out more. Check out the Gutsmart quiz in my link in bio.